Hello and welcome to my series, Inspire. Today's word is restless. The very definition of restless means to be unable to rest or relax. This is actually the same definition as anxiety, to be honest. And anxiety and restlessness do partner together in so many ways. And so I want you to ask yourself if you felt over the last couple years or today in this moment, if you are feeling restless or have you struggled with a sense of restlessness over this last couple years? Does this mean that your nervous system is constantly amped up in fight or flight response where it's really difficult even when you have time off to fully rest? Or have you been having trouble sleeping? Maybe you can get to sleep but you wake up and you're still fatigued. Or maybe you get to sleep, but then you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't get back to sleep. But either way, there are indications, whether it's overwhelm or anxiety, or just feeling a little bit of a malaise, where your mind is really wired, but your body is tired, and you can't seem to get them tuned into the same channel, these are indicators of being restless. And I wanna offer you in today's session some techniques and tips to help you manage those times when you're feeling restless. For learning how to rest, learning the art of relaxation, just like anything else, isn't some innate experience. For most of us, no one has ever taught us how to relax. No one has taught us what rest really means. And this may be the first time right now that you've contemplated it on a deeper level. So perhaps I'll be the first one to teach you some techniques to help you learn how to rest and relax so that you can move out of that feeling of being restless. One of the most detrimental parts of restlessness is that it takes us out of the present moment. And we can only ever be happy in the now moment. And so when we're restless, there's that feeling and trepidation of anxiety of what's going to happen in the future, what's going to happen next, and letting the mind just start racing. And so may this experience today help you learn how to bring your mind out of those times where it's racing like wild horses and bring it back to a more regular pace where you feel in control of exactly that the way you feel. And as a result, then you can start to be more present and we can start to love ourselves more fully in the now moment. So restless, just put your hands over your heart, palms open like this, and just notice the feeling vibration of your heart right now. And then begin to tune in to the quality of your breath, the duration of your breath. And notice if your breath is ragged, if it's billowy, if it feels expansive or if it feels tight and constricted. Pay attention in the duration of the breath, whether the inhalation is equal to the exhalation or if they're imbalanced. And if you're feeling imbalanced and that's how you define restlessness, neither being here or there, kind of teetering a little bit on the razor's edge. And so just noticing your breath. And there's no judgment in the noticing and the observation of your breath. For it's a really easy way to check in to see if you are restless. And now from that observation, you could either keep your hands here or let them rest anywhere you wish. And let's start to manage the breath to bring it out of that racing and chaos into a nice pacing. 
we will follow a four, 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 four breathing pattern. This is a one, 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 one breath ratio. It's called box breathing because like a box, all four sides are even. So either close your eyes or keep them open. Inhale through your nose, one, two, three, four. Retain the breath, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Retain the breath out, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold the breath in, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath out, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold the breath in, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath out, one, two, three, four. And just notice how you're feeling. The series of Inspire, based on this meaning and feeling of the word inspire, the root to breathe. So the breath is our most powerful ally when it comes to moving away from feeling restless. And I want you to consider what are the words that describe your feeling when you're not restless? What is the ideal? For me, I think of peace, calm, stability, tranquility, ease. Those are the ways that I want to feel and I do feel when I'm not restless. And then from this observation of how that breathing pattern just helped you out, know that that's it's something that's in your toolkit now that you can use anytime. And then let's try a visualization. Close your eyes or again, keep them open, but stare at something. I like to look at something down. So there's the earth energy and it's very calming, but try not to have your eyes darting about or just simply close them. As you sit for a moment, just being at peace with what's happening right now. Put all your energy into feeling these statements. Above me, there is space. Below me, there is space. To the right, there is space. To the left, there is space. Inside me, there is space. And you can repeat these to yourself or find just one of the statements that resonates most and repeat it until it gradually just quiets away. Above me, there is space. Below me, there is space. To the right, there is space. To the left, there is space. 
inside me there is space. Above me there is space. Below me there is space. To the right there is space. To the left there is space. Inside me there is space. Just notice how you're feeling. At any time when you want to hit pause on this video and just be, know that you can do that and then come back. But when we're in a state of restlessness, this inability to rest or relax, scarcity mentality easily infiltrates our feeling vibration and that thought of I don't have enough, I don't have enough time, I'm running out of time is a real popular one to go to in the brain. And it feels very constricted, tight, congested. And then we stop breathing. And that then contributes to making us feel more restless. And tight is the opposite, right, of relaxation. So to meditate, in this visualization that there is space above you and beneath you and to the right and to the left. And most importantly, there's space inside you. There's even space in your mind. But if you focus on that spacious quality, you'll start to feel your body relax instead of constrict and tighten. And so this is a second really beautiful technique when you're feeling restless. And so just be with that for a moment longer. And then let's meditate. So again, close your eyes or look at something still And as you let your breath fall into the background, feeling the space above you, beneath you, all around you and inside you, I want you to imagine how you feel when you have everything that you need and there's no reason for scarcity you have all the time you need, all the resources, support you need, you have all the money you need, you have all the clarity you need. Imagine what that feels like. And where do you see yourself when you're experiencing that feeling? Is it on the beach? Is it in the woods? Is it in front of a roaring fire? Put yourself in that space. And just see all the details of that really restful, relaxed space And then allow yourself to just be in that. And whenever you practice this, I also encourage you to apply a scent, like an aromatherapy that's relaxing. I recommend lavender, but perhaps it's sandalwood or, or something else. But every time you put that scent on before you do this meditation, just Take a little bit and just really deeply inhale and then go into that visualization 
for your meditation of this beautiful space and that feeling of relaxation and rest. Our biology tells us that when you begin to associate that scent, that aroma with the feeling of rest and relaxation, and you even just visualize that place, that all of that feeling immediately comes in and the relaxation response gets turned on. It's immediate. And you could just have a smell of that aroma because you've been associating it with this meditation over and over. And right away, you feel calm, restful. And then open your eyes again. So that was the third technique. And now from here, just bring your fingertips to your jaw and just make little circles. Be tender, not too hard. You can also use a gua sha for this sort of work. But when we feel tension in the jaw, we're starting to get worked up and it's very hard to rest and relax, enjoy and feel pleasure. So open, close, move your jaw around. And then shoulder rolls, just lift up and back just a couple, three, four times. You can move your head around a little bit to see if your shoulders are are opening up and loosening up. You can do one at a time, forward and back, and forward and back one at a time. And then from here, hands on the low belly. And let's take some deep breaths into the low part of the lungs, into deep belly breathing, diaphragmatic breathing. Add a little exhalation out your mouth. Last one, big belly breath. <sighs> Making an audible sound relaxes the nervous system. And so those three physical movements, the jaw, the shoulders, the deep diaphragmatic breath, so that the pelvic floor doesn't feel tight and engaged, but that total relaxation of the pelvic floor, those are easy ways to get out of that restless feeling and to move into this place of tranquility and peace. Well, those are the four techniques that I wanted to share with you. I hope they inspired you and I hope you continue to be inspired with this full series of videos. From my heart to your heart, may you love yourself, love your day, love your life.